Yeah. Okay, this is uh, full, full power, uh, even fuller power. I've just uh, bypassed all this uh, input uh, transformer uh, stuff and I've plugged the uh, uh, plugged the thing right into the line. You know, this this is this goes to the power strip over there, and so uh, we've got 170 volts DC uh, coming out of the bridge and power supply there. Uh, that's rectified. That's what gives you. Uh, you run the line voltage through uh, a bridge and then uh, across these capacitors to smooth the ripple, and you get 170 volts, uh, no load, and it drops down to about 150 when the thing is fully operational. Uh, so that's. Uh, and I've got the uh, got the problem sorted uh, with the F34, so we're running at a very short uh, a short duty cycle, uh, shorter than the 50 percent that's delivered by the. The, uh, that okay so uh, there we go uh, zoom. There Okay, and uh, that uh, that mode keeps the MOSFETs not too hot. And uh, as you can see, I've installed a, a DC ammeter in the input uh, amperage line, so uh, I can't get everything in the picture all at once. But uh, that's what the output looks like, and. Uh, That's the current draw. Of course, that's uh, uh, you know, the meter is averaging that out a lot. So what I'm going to do is switch to uh, continuous mode. Okay, and we'll look at what the uh, discharge looks like in continuous mode. Like that, and uh, that does cause uh, some heating of the MOSFETs. That's mostly from the corona. The power arc doesn't heat the MOSFETs that much. But when it shifts into corona mode, it's, uh, it heats the MOSFETs. So you can tell the difference from the sound. And here's the uh, amperage. So that's uh, power arc, and when it jumps up to uh, over 7 amps, that's uh, corona. And since this is a steady uh, DC or fairly steady, uh, 800 mega, 800 kilohertz. Uh, that's the power arc. That's the MOSFET temperatures dropping, dropping. That's Corona. See that that little burst of corona. Corona really makes the temperatures rise fast, <laughs> and I think that might be because my X bridge is not switching completely cleanly. The power arc. Uh, corona is about seven amps at about 150 volts, so that's a full kilowatt. That's a kilowatt. And it drops down, drops down in the power arc. And the power arc is only about 300 watts. Okay, that's it. Tinsel coil, uh, input and output uh, power, or uh, input power reading, anyway. Uh, thanks for watching.